I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on sequences and series. One of the most important topic here is to understand arithmetic and geometric means and the relation between them. So we look into this inequality that arithmetic mean is basically always equal to or greater than geometric mean. So in this video, we'll kind of prove it and we'll use two different methods to prove. One approach will be geometric and the other will be algebraic. Now what you could consider is that, uh, let's consider a circle. Now in a circle, Let's take diameter of the circle. So we have a semicircle now. Within semicircle, let's take a point anywhere on the circumference. If you join this point with the endpoints of the diameter, in that case, you will get a right angle triangle correct? in a semicircle. Perfect. Now, from this right angle triangle, let me draw a perpendicular. Now, in general, this will not go through the center, right? Now, let us say that this diameter is divided into two parts, A and B, with this altitude or a perpendicular from the third vertex, which is at 90 degrees, with these two sides. Let's call that side as, as C. Okay, so we have this particular circle with a diameter. So what we have here is the diameter is equal to A plus B, right? Now, uh, let us uh, sketch this slightly bigger. It's too small actually. Okay, so we are just sketching the same thing slightly bigger. Purposely, I'm not making this in the center. In general, this point could be anywhere, right? So, so it's somewhere, but not in the center. Is it clear to you? So we have two sides, A and B, right? So this is A and that is B. So what I'm trying to say is that the diameter is sum of A and B. Let's call this uh, S H. Now you will notice that since we have a 90 degrees right there at the vertex on the circumference semisphere, this angle is theta which will be equal to that angle, correct? Since that is 90 minus theta, right? So this and this angle are same. 90 minus theta, that is theta, same angle, correct? So, so in the given situation, let me label this as AB, let's say this point is P. So in this given situation, the triangle, let's call this point here as SD, okay. So the triangle ADP is actually similar to triangle PDB. Since the angle ADP is congruent to angle PDB and the angle PAD is congruent to angle DPB. So both are same angles. So from AA properties, so that is similar because of AA property. Since they are similar, or we could write ratios are same, right? So, so we can write side opposite to that other angle is A divided by side opposite to this is H should be equal to side opposite to this other angle is H in the other triangle 
divided by b. So, cross multiplying gives us a b equals to h square, right. So, from here we can write that square root of a b is equal to h. So, we get one condition. That square root of a b is equal to h. Okay. The other condition which we have here is that a plus b is equal to diameter. a b, right, is the diameter. Correct? And from this given figure, you can see that h is less than a plus b divided by t, 2, right? Because it is not the radius, right? Radius will be when you join the center, then you get the radius. So, height is less than or it could be at the most equal to. If this happens to be right in the center, we could have height same as the radius, right? But half of the diameter, which is the radius, is definitely more than the height, right? So, from here, you can clearly see that h is equal to square root of a b and this second equation says that a plus b divided by 2 is the radius, right? Since the radius is bigger than h, at the most it could be equal to, we come to a conclusion that a plus b over 2 is greater than or equal to square root of a b. Is that clear to you? So that is your arithmetic mean and this is your geometric mean. That is how you prove it, right? So as a special case, they are equal. A plus B over 2 is equal to H or I should say square root of AB if h equals to r, the radius. Do you see that? Because then they are both radius, radius, right? Only then they are equal to. Otherwise, the average or the arithmetic mean is greater. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to prove it. Now let's also try to prove the same using algebra, right? Okay. So what we will do here that we will do a kind of substitution uh, let us say a square is equal to x and b square equal to y. Okay, so let's assume this, right? And we are given that a and b are both positive numbers. In that case, what is going to be x minus y whole square? Whatever it is definitely going to be greater than or equal to 0. Is that clear to you? Now, this could be written as, let's take uh, a as x square, since I am starting with x square minus y square, and b as y square. We'll begin with from, right? So, let a be equals to x square, b equals to y square. In that case, x minus y whole square is a positive quantity. It has to be greater than or equal to 0. So, when you expand this, you get x square minus 2xy plus y square should be greater than or equal to 0. Taking this to the right side, we get x square plus y square is greater than or equal to 2xy. Now, x square is a, so we can write this as a, y square is b, so let's write this as b, is greater than or equal to 2 times what is xy xy square root of a b right or dividing by 2 we get a plus b divided by 2 is greater than or equal to square root of a plus b is that clear to you right so making this substitution a equals to x square b equals to y square we can actually algebraically prove that a plus b over 2 could be equal to or greater than square root of a b sorry product a b right so that is to say that once again 
arithmetic mean is greater than or equal to geometric mean. Is that clear to you? So that is how we could prove algebraically that arithmetic mean is greater than or equal to geometric mean. Right? So it, when are they equal to? Well, if uh, A equals to B, only in that case, arithmetic mean will be equal to geometric mean. Correct? So that is a special case. I hope the concept is absolutely clear, right? Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.